eight million dollar question in times of radical change will life ever go back to the again with the sun shine like it once did with these moments that seem so ordinary that we took for granted ever be we experienced the simple things like enjoying a glass of wine at a cafe terrace the city center surrounded by friends or enjoying a sunny day in the park with a family or how about hugs and kisses on the cheeks or a firm handshake with an old friend it's striking how memories of times not so long ago can change into fragments of an odd and distant world another era so it seems that was much brighter much more beautiful much more lively and now so drenched in fear and diseased by insecurity no more life something seemed so dark that seemed so dark at times but now we only realize the beauty of it now that it's gone so i tell myself how on earth could you have been so unappreciative of the freedom we had back then how on earth could you have have been so ignorant of the fact that our liberties are not just a matter of course and how could you have predicted that our lives would be able to change so drastically within the snap of a finger will life ever go back to normal well the normal we perceived as normal is already passed so what did you do when life was still normal many lived for, for what was yet to come and many wasted that time on past resentments too when life was normal the moment was never good enough so it took the transformative force of crisis for you to cherish what once had but never esteemed and this is how it has always been with the most of us we long for moments that are gone and never come back to no other when life was still normal did we never desire for those good old times did we ever look back to the world when it was still beautiful and did we not long for the past and when we did not long for the past we hoped for the future that our plans would work out that we would achieve that beach body at six percent body fat that we would someday land that perfect love and that we would finally see those seven digits in our bank account it's ironic that when times are normal we want to change and when times change we want to be normal so perhaps we don't want to be normal perhaps we don't want what we want is change because normal never seems to satisfy Will life ever go back to normal? Well, the answer is twofold. We are in times of radical change. And the more radical the change is, the further we will be removed from what once was. Life will never be the same again. But the good news is that life has always been changing. Yet, as Marcus Aurelius always pointed out, history repeats itself over and over again. Change has always been sometimes slowly and steadily, other times quickly and radically. Right now, life is simply changing at a swifter pace. As an old soul once wrote, if you realize that all these things change, there is nothing you will try to hold on to. The anthropic nature of the universe never preserves and always recreates from the old, it creates, it forms the new. Without stopping, without ever looking back, without mercy. When you go down the stream of life, we never know what we may encounter. One day, we may quietly float along. Another day, we might tumble down the waterfall and drastically change the course. We are in that waterfall right now, and it's unclear how deep the fall will be, but when we hit the bottom and manage to survive the plunge, chances are that there will be quite a waters in front of us. From there, we can hopefully leave behind what once was normal and give the new normal the respect it deserves.
a million dollar question in times of radical change will life ever go back to the again will the sun shine like it once did will these moments that seem so ordinary that we took for granted ever be re-experienced the simple things like enjoying a glass of wine at a cafe terrace the city center surrounded by friends or enjoying a sunny day in the park with a family or how about hugs and kisses on the cheeks or a firm handshake with an old friend it's striking how memories of times not so long ago can change into fragments of an odd and distant world another era so it seems that was much brighter much more beautiful much more lively and now so drenched in fear and diseased by insecurity no more life something seemed so dark that seemed so dark at times but now we only realize the beauty of it now that it's gone so i tell myself how on earth could you have been so unappreciative of the freedom we had back then how on earth could you have have been so ignorant of the fact that our liberties are not just a matter of course and how 